really excited to be here. Um, 14 year old me, it'd be
trying to stay awake during those online classes that I was excited for. And as, as time went on and the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months, I started to be confined. The pages of the book were just too much for me to handle. They, they were worse than the walls that I was, the walls of my house. And the, the ideas that I used to woke up so much whenever I sat down to write felt way too loud in my head. And for the first time ever, I rejected reading, I rejected writing because it was just too much for me. It was way too overwhelming. I had fallen out of love, and let me tell you, any amount of heartbreak that I had felt up until that point is a pale comparison. So, as they say, light, there's always a light in it. And that came three months later when we were allowed to go back to school. I was excited to see my friends. I was excited to be back in class. I was excited to eat the kind of okay chips that our canteen had to offer. I was even excited to fight for my life in the Daladas that would take me home. But what I was really excited for was rebuilding that relationship that I had with reading and writing. I was so excited to read, I was so excited to write. So I would pick up a book at least, and I would read steadily. Because I told myself, reading even once, even one page a day, was better than not reading at all. And then one day, when I was waiting for my dad to come pick me up, I decided to, write, to start up a writing Instagram page. I told myself that, actually I promised myself that none of my ideas would ever go unsaid. And even if they wouldn't be developed, and they would at least have a place in the world. Fast forward to today, I can happily say that my relationship with reading and writing has been strong, is stronger than ever. And it pains me to think that this is what it took for me to appreciate what I have, but I'm very glad I did. Yes. And now I know we all have a happy ending, but the truth is, I noticed something different while I was getting back into the swing of things. Something was off, and the more I thought about it, the more I realized that we had come to a fork in the road. On one hand, we have the option of doing things as we did, and on the other hand, we have the option of changing and growing. So, it's no surprise, all the, all the events of the past couple of years have changed our environment, have changed the landscape drastically, and politically, economically, socially, technologically, nothing is the same, and We've been presented with, a, with an opportunity right now. We, can, we have to make a choice, and as a community, we really have to ask ourselves the question of what now? So, we need a change in perspective, and I believe this is what we can do to make this change in perspective. Number one, we have to use everything we have as inspiration. Now, listen, we are living in times that would only be possible in history textbooks, and rooms with very expensive budgets. What, else, what more could we ask for? And I'm not, I'm, I, this is not a threat to the planet, I really don't want more, but I'm saying that we should really use our opportunities right now. We have an unlimited resource. The writing, the, the writings that we, could, that we could produce right now would change the world. They would live on way after we were gone. For instance, Tanzania. We were the one country that said, Every other country was shutting down and we were like, no, we're good, we'll just keep it pushing. <laughs> so, just that alone is enough. Imagine what else we could do with everything else. Secondly, we have support. Support in a society is defined as giving assistance to someone. Now picture this, you're right. You realize that there's something missing but you just don't know what it is. So, you decide to reach into your network and ask somebody for help. And because that, that person has a different perspective than you, they actually give you what you need. You finish your work and you're very happy with the outcome. Now imagine if that was consistent. I, as I said before, I've been in the social sphere for writers for a very short period of time. And this is what exactly what we need. Because support comes with very minimal doses and it's disappointing because we really do need each other in these individual journeys that we are all going through. We really do need each other because one simple share on Instagram, one simple mention to one of your other friends can go such a long way. Because 
at the end of the day, we have the same end goal. And we really do need to make that change now. I usually face a lot, no surprise there. And I think that if we stay doing the things that we do right now, we will be in this rut forever. We will be in this continuous cycle of disappointment. And I understand that we are living in unprecedented times. I understand that we are navigating uncharted territory. I understand that there's a lot of gray areas that are yet to be discovered. There's still that choice that we have to make. We really do have to make that choice. Are we going to do things the way we did? Or are we going to maintain that leap of faith and change? I've personally already made my choice. Changing part, and I don't know what's your, what are you doing. I hope you guys make the same choice too, because this is what we need. Thank you.